Today I decided to try out LEGO Gorilla Tag to see what the hype is all about and I also wanted to talk about the issue with quote unquote fan games. I've got an exclusive statement from Lemming himself that he shared in a finger painter discord server so watch till the end to learn more. So here is me joining Brick Tag for the first time. I did the tutorial and I dropped down into the game. Everything is just LEGO. I can't lie this is a really cool concept. I just wish we could build stuff in this game. It would make it so much more fun. After hanging out in the forest map for a while I went to check out the city map and everything looks exactly the same as it does in Gorilla Tag. Except it's Lego. Wait, these are actually kind of cool. There's even a gun cosmetic? Oh my god. Wait a minute, they have mod menus for sale? <laughs> what? So I wanted to talk about the issue with games like these. So as we all know, Lemming made Gorilla Tag's locomotion open source to inspire more game developers to use locomotion, which is very nice of him. And while it's completely okay to be inspired by something, stealing a game is a completely different story. While I can't deny that Brick Tag looks interesting, it looks like they just took the assets from Gorilla Tag and then changed the textures, claiming it as their own game. But that's not even the worst part, they're selling in-game cosmetics for real money. That's what shocked me the most. I thought you earn money by being online, but you actually have to spend real money. But it's not just Brick Tag doing this, there are thousands and thousands of other Gorilla Tag clones out there doing the same, and some of them barely even put any effort into their game and then they call themselves a game developer. <laughs> but what is the difference between inspiration and straight up copying? Well, the issue becomes when people straight up copy paste Gorilla Tag and then try to make money from it. Now, I have a message from Lemming himself. This was shared exclusively to the Finger Painter Discord server, but I was giving the permission to share it with you all. I always find it very humbling when I see people making fan stuff for Gorilla Tag. When I first started working on it, I was just happy to see people playing and having fun, and I never imagined it'd get to the point where it's inspiring people to make their own stuff based on the game. However, there are a lot of things out there that are just plain stealing, either the assets themselves or the code that's used in the game. I made the locomotion open source in hopes that it would inspire people to use it to build their own things, maybe put a new spin on the idea, or try making something totally new. But people are just taking the entire code base and pointing it to different servers. We don't like doing it, but when people cross this line, we have to take legal steps, and it always sucks. In the case of another company's VR tag game, there's a lot of stuff in the game that's directly ripped from Gorilla attack. Like, as an example, I can very vividly remember the period of how I built up the city area and put everything together. I built all the pieces in Blender and then painstakingly placed everything together in the Unity scene and I'm looking at some of these other games and almost everything is in the exact same spot with the models that I made that are just changed a bit and they're charging people money for their version of shiny rocks. It's extremely frustrating to see someone take your work and pass it off as their own. We want to encourage people to be inspired and build, but we have to protect what we made so we can keep building more. We're excited to see what you create, but in the meantime, please be mindful when checking out rips, especially when they're also trying to get you to spend money. I can definitely see why Lemming is frustrated. This could have easily been a Gorilla Tech mod instead. I remember last year I made a video about a Gorilla Tech texture pack mod, and this is exactly what it reminds me of. But now the question is, what counts as a clone and what counts as an inspired game? Well. Can you guess what I'm playing right now? If you said Gorilla Tag, no, you're wrong. It's scary monkey horror. I could keep going all day, but I want to focus on the actual good quality Gorilla Tag inspired games that I think you should try out. First, we have Sky Strikers. It has Gorilla Tag's locomotion, but the game is about using your bat and trying to hit the ball and score a point. This game is free and it's constantly getting updates, and they have a big one coming soon. Not sponsored. Out of Hand is another really fun game. I've played on my channel before, and I just love the story. The the graphics and just the gameplay in general. These are the kind of games that we need and I can almost guarantee they will be a thing for much longer than the clones. If you're going to play any clones, do it at your own risk as you may be sharing all your private data to the develop- to, to the copy paster. But what do you think about Gorilla Tech clones? Let me know in the comments below.